about a deadly overnight fire that roared through an Oakland, California industrial building. It happened late last night. As of now, we know that nine are dead. That number could go far higher. It took four hours to douse the blaze, and now comes the grim and dangerous task of recovering the bodies. Claudia Cowan standing by live outside that warehouse in Oakland. Hi, Claudia. Hi, Leland. Well, a special task force is now being assigned to investigate what happened here this morning, what caused this deadly fire, and why so many people became trapped inside and died. Now, we are in an industrial area of the city of Oakland. As you can see, uh, the area behind me has been uh, closed off as dozens of fire crews begin to comb through the wreckage of this two-story warehouse that last night had been the scene of a party. It isn't known what sparked the fire. Crews responded at about 11.30 and the flames were so intense they couldn't get inside. And now we're hearing stories of people escaping and trying to help their friends get out too, but then were overcome by the heat and smoke and had to save themselves. The roof caved in and officials say most of the bodies were found on the second floor. Fire officials say from those who escaped, they were able to gather the names of 25 people who were unaccounted for, but a little while ago said that number could be as high as 40. with a strong voice saying, Babylon the Great is fallen, is fallen. It has become the habitation of devils. And behold, every foul spirit in cage of every unclean and hateful bird. And I heard another voice come out of her from heaven saying, come out of her, my people, that ye may be not partakers of her sins, and that ye receive not of her plagues. And let me tell you something. The, the scriptures, the scriptures, God prophesied or through John the Revelator, he just told you, come out of her, my people. That's Revelation chapter 18, verse 4. He said, come out of her, my people, that you're not partakers of her sins and her plagues. What, what are some plagues and sins that come out of America? Joining these philosophies, partying. We just had a fire right here in Oakland today. A fire where they say over 100 people was trapped in. And they're saying right as of right now, the body count was possibly nine people. It's probably going to rise because they have 40 people they say that's still trapped in there. So they don't know who's still dead and alive, but they already confirming that nine is dead. You want to partake with America in, in, these, in, in these different ways of America, which is the partying, the celebration? You're going to get trapped up in here. The Bible said, come out of her, my people, so you don't partake in her plagues and sins. That's what you're partaking in right now. You are partaking in the plagues and sins of America. Yeah, it's just three blocks up. Okay, one second. We just had a, a it's, fire. It's only like two blocks down. A fire was two blocks down. We talking about, we right here in East Oakland, and we talking about right off International Boulevard, probably about 42nd Avenue, I'm thinking, somewhere around there. They had a rave party. It really changed my life, because like, people my age, you know, kids my age, they're usually in street gangs or something, and they're like out there smoking dope, and you know, usually robbing houses or something. They're proud of me, because I'm doing something in my life. The book of Exodus, 
chapter 23, verse 2. Thou shalt not follow a multitude to do evil, neither shalt thou speak in a cause to decline after many to rest judgment. Thou shalt not follow a multitude to do evil. That's true. Isaiah 1 and 3. That's what our people do. Monkey see, monkey do. Now, I don't know how many of our people was caught up in this fire just now, or that happened uh, early this morning, but I know Jake was up in yeah, there, they man. Said a, they said it was 100 people, over 100 people. They said over there. 100 people was, was in the fire. Yeah, they said, you know, a rave party, they be having drugs and rave party all drugs, that stuff up in there. But everywhere the white man at, Jake gonna follow. So I know Jake was up in there. And more than likely, because if Jake was in there, the Heavenly Father brought judgment. Because the Heavenly Father don't, anytime Jake get involved with something, there's always a penalty against it. Always. These nations can do dirt all they want to. Nothing really happened to them. But as soon as you Negroes get caught up in it, that's when judgment comes. Sorry, what you yeah, they, they said they was trapped upstairs, like, no way to get out. The book of Isaiah, chapter 1, verse 3. The ox knows his owner, and the ass his master's crib. But Israel does not know. Breaking news now from California. Officials have confirmed that a fire in Oakland has killed nine people. And there are reports of people missing. Firefighters responded to this scene just before midnight last night. It broke out of a building that houses living and working spaces. Oakland fire officials say there was a party going on at the time of the fire. Structural damage seems to be hindering search efforts inside of the building. My people do not consider. Heavenly Father said that the ox and the ass knows who their owner is and where their house is at. But he said, my people Israel do not know. You guys don't know where your power lies. And he said, you guys don't even consider. You guys don't consider who your power is, neither do you know who your power is. Hey, I'm going to get uh, Deuteronomy 28 and 64. Hold on one second. Deuteronomy 28, verse 64. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people from the one end of the earth even unto the other. And there thou shalt serve other gods, which neither thou nor thy father have known, even wood and stone. Right. So that's what we're doing in this country and all throughout this world. We're following heathenistic pagan gods that our forefathers did not know. When our forefathers came over here on those slave ships, they weren't worshiping no damn Christmas, and they weren't worshiping no Islam. They weren't worshiping, they weren't following Buddha. They weren't following none of this, these practices and these pagan beliefs that was handed down to us. Now, today, we freely follow these things. They were beating to us, now we freely follow them. And that's why the Heavenly Father said that we don't know who our power is, nor where our power is at, because we're following pagan beliefs. That cross represents the wood, and that Kaaba, and that Buddha statue, and statues of, of, of these nations represent stone. And they were all newly created. Our people are following false images and gods, which goes back to Satan. The book of Titus, chapter two, verse 12, teaching us that denying ungodliness and worldly lusts, we should live soberly, righteously, and godly in this present world looking for that blessed hope and the glorious appearing of the great God and our Savior Jesus Christ right he I was shy in the Hebrew Jesus Christ or who we know ignorantly who we know as Jesus Christ is the Son of God he's Yahweh shy in the Hebrew they weren't calling him Jesus Christ when he walked the earth and that's our hope right there we are hoping believing and we're patient yeah. We have impatience. And he said it's present world. In this present world. Yeah, that's this millennium. That was back then. That was the world to come. Hey, but we are know. in the world now. We are in the present world. Hey, I, and we hope it. And when you see uh, BC versus AD, BC is before Christ, but AD is I know the Domini, right? Okay. In the year of our Lord. Right. When he died, this is still the year of our Lord. Right. We that's waiting right. on him to come back. Right. Right. So we still living during this time period in the year of our Lord. In this present day. Right. And we're waiting patiently. 
And like your brother said, BC is before Christ, now we in AD. So, a so AD is after the time when Yahweh Shai walked the earth. After his death. Yeah. Well, what you say, Ad? What you say? Anno Domini. Anno Domini. Which, which is, is in the year of our Lord. In it's the Greek. year of our Lord. That's Greek? Is that Greek. Greek? That's Greek. Matter of fact, you can see that stuff. No, it's not. Uh, what is that on, on, on the dollar bill? Uh, uh, Pluribus Unum. Pluribus Unum. Right. Something like that. And they got all kinds of symbols. One world signs. order. And, 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 and using Greek and entertaining, and, and entertaining it with this so-called English, which is a bastard tongue. And if you don't study these different languages to get the true, uh, to, the true understanding of the words, it's going to have you entangled up. It takes studying and patience to understand this word, man. The Heavenly Father made this word where it was going to be hard to be understood, as Paul said, because it ain't for everybody. Everybody's not going to have patience to sit down and understand this word and study it. But we study. This, this is our life mission. We study this word, man. And we follow the Heavenly Father rules to the best of our ability. The book of Revelations, chapter 13, verse 9. If any man have an ear, let him hear. Yo, huh? Any man have an ear, let him hear. That's, that's, that's the ability to get basic understanding, wisdom. Yo, like Miles Davis. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. The nations, the nations. It ain't just the white man, but he's the one who we're going to be found in his hands in these last days. But the nations that have led the Israelites into captivity over, all the, over, over the last couple thousands of years, they shall go into captivity. What else? He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. All nations that have killed us with the sword must be killed with the sword. Now this is the point I was getting to after the points we just made. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. Give me uh, Psalms 148, we'll show who the saints are. Hey, I need to get Psalm 50. 50, I think in verse 3, we'll show who the saints are. Here's the patience and the faith of the saints. We are patiently waiting for that day for, our, for the return of our Lord and Savior. Yahweh Shai in the Hebrew to who you eagerly refer to as Jesus Christ. We waiting patiently for him. The true believers are patient. Man, we don't let the society and what's going on move us off our mark. We're patiently waiting, man. We have patience dealing with all this ignorance, all this wickedness going on. We patient with this. Right. All this hatred going on. That the word right been discriminated there, against. That word right there is one of the biggest words in the street. Patience, man. Patience, man. Patience. Patience give us patience peace. Of the saints, man. We're not stressed out. We take it easy, man. We bring in this Sabbath real smooth and easy. We patient. Right. We ain't trying to follow the Joneses. We, we pull ourselves out of America. We're patient with this. Hey, but you know what? I, when you look at like the Seminole Indians, when you look at like uh, the Nat Turners, all them dudes was about you know, try to get them pe get their people free. Sure. You know, when you look at our brothers today, they sit there, they'll kill you over some shoes. Right. You know? Right. Their drive and their motives are in the wrong area. Our people back then was all about their people. Our people today all about material. Just because. All about material. They were, they, back then our people, they actually, they had a cause. Now we just living and doing things just because. Right. Just like your brother just brought out. A brother above you today, or not even bump you, but over a pair of joint sneakers, a brother will take your life, man. Right. Matter of fact, he got the The book of Psalms, chapter 148, verse 14. He also exalted the horn of his people, the praise of all his saints, even of the children of Israel, a people near unto him. Praise ye the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. The saints of the Bible or the Israelites. Right. The poor of the Bible or the Israelites. The meek, the Israelites. The Israelites are these people. Anybody that's not a saint because he reads the Bible. You got to be of the chosen seed. Sorry, what you got out? That's, that's good. That's cool. Um, According to this Bible, you so-called blacks and Hispanics are a special people, man. And we can't stress it enough, man. It seems like the more we bring this out, the more you guys run, man. Yeah, man. chapter one. But I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you know something. The Heavenly Father is gonna get your attention. Because he gets you Negroes' attentions daily by letting these 
cops gun you down and get off. But after a march or two, you guys go back to sleep. But he finna turn this violence up. It's gonna be nonstop. Well, you ain't gonna better uh, walk away from it. Seeing him march and dance one day and then it just go away. It's gonna be constantly in your face. Got it? Thank you, Al. Check this out. The book of Proverbs, chapter 1, verse 27. When your fear cometh as desolation, and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind, when distress and anguish come upon you, then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer, and they shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. Damn. I say damn again. Man, you don't know what it... That's what give us hope. That when we have uh, a tribulation in the society, and we know we can rely on these scriptures and read it and get comfort. But the day the Heavenly Father, the day you pray and you call the Heavenly Father and He don't hear you, that's going to be sad. That's going to be a sad day. Because that's actually going on now. Sometimes when you're going through things, or you're suffering, and you praying and you get on your knees and the Heavenly Father don't answer your prayer, a lot of times he ain't hearing you because you wait till something's going on with you before you want to recognize the Heavenly Father. And that's being phony, man. That's phony as hell. You so-called blacks and Hispanics will be phony, man. You guys are being phony. He says the day when your distress and your anguish come, come upon you, he said he's not going to hear you because when he called for you, he said, you didn't answer. Uh, you Hispanics, you guys want to keep worshiping the white man? Put them on these crosses, you all up in these Catholic churches with these rosary beads and all this idolatry? Well, God finna turn the white man. He got Trump in office for a reason. Because he gonna use Trump to bring forth judgment. Trump go round you up and Trump gonna send you back across that border. And Trump go, Trump go uh, uh, put the authority on these uh, the police to keep shooting you down, you Negroes. And it's gonna happen, it ain't gonna stop either. Because your Christian churches don't teach you who you are, and they don't teach you not to follow these pagans. The Christian church celebrate Christmas. The Christian church follow Thanksgiving. That stuff is not in the Bible. It's all pagan. Let me get that. James 4, verse 4. Ye adulterers and adulterers, know ye not that the friendship of this world is empty, empty, sorry, empty with the most high. Thank you. <laughs> With the most high. Whosoever therefore will be a friendship of the world is the enemy of the most high. Anytime you partake in what this world brings you, and what the so-called white men has handed down to you, Negroes and Latinos, which is religion, pagan idolatry, pagan uh pagan thief days, then to tell me father say it is enmity against him. The Heavenly Father is not with things taken. Thanksgiving represents the slaughter of the so-called North American Indians, which are the Gadites according to the tribes of Israel. You guys just set up a week or two ago and fed your faces. Diabetes probably shot through the roof, eating all that salted, disgusting pork, all that sweet yams or whatever else you put that white sugar in that kills your pancreas. You guys just sat down and celebrated that and God don't even give it to you in the Bible. Hypocrites. These so-called Christians are hypocrites. I'm talking to my family too. I want you to see this. Any of my family watching this, you hypocrites. And God finna answer you. My, my auntie just passed a couple weeks ago. Her body was riddled with infections. She been eating unhealthy all her life, just like the rest of my family. And all you blacks and Hispanics in general, you guys don't uh, reference the Heavenly Father. He tell you don't eat pork and crab and shrimp and lobster. What you all not? Yeah. He tell you don't eat crab, shrimp, and lobster. Anything that comes out the water that don't have scales and fins, it is unclean to you. S uh, scales on a fish is like pores on a human. Scales on a fish is clean. Because when it eats its food, it can release bacteria out of its scales. Just like when you sweat and you release toxins out of your pores. Well, guess what? The pig don't have pores. It's, it, it comes out through his hooves. 
It's jelly. It's that jelly that, that you Negroes like to make gravy out of. Out of your pig feet and your hog balls and your chitlins. Pig intestines. The book of Amos, chapter 5, verse 23. Take thou away from me the noise of thy songs, for I will not hear the melody of thy viols, but let judgment run down as waters and righteousness as a mighty stream. ...of hell on earth. Oh, God. And now, an amazing find at Dolly Parton's theme park. Isaac McCord was cleaning up debris at Dollywood when a burned piece of paper charred around the edges caught his eye. I just found this while helping clean different areas of Dollywood theme park. It was under a bench soaking wet. Talk about goosebumps. What made this find so special? Just look. It's from the book of Joel, containing these words, O Lord, to thee will I cry, for the fire hath devoured the pastures of the wilderness, and the flame hath burned all the trees of the field.